Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching tonight. I hope everybody is having a lovely Wednesday evening. And it's late. Lord, it's it's midnight now. But I'm just, I'm kind of keyed up. Um, I watched a video just, just now. Uh, Jerry Jones did it. It was talking about, he was talking about the... Um, the crucifixion of Christ and how the Jehovah's Witnesses portray it differently than it actually was. And it just, you know, he made some really good points. But I think that there is too much speculation on that. And I just have to, you know, really put in my two cents. Because, you know, you hear people on YouTube, they make these videos. And it's one thing I don't understand is so stupid People say, and these are not stupid, uneducated, ignorant people. These are rational, I mean, people that have studied the Bible, but some of them have been to seminary, and they still say this. They said, well, if he was hung, if he was hung with his nails up or with his hands up over his head, and he would have had one nail print in his hands, if he had his arms outstretched, he would have a nail print in each hand. Okay, genius. He would have nail prints in both hands anyway. It doesn't matter if they were over his head or out to the side. He would have nail prints in both of his hands unless he was hung one-handed and the other arm was just dangling. I mean, that's just, that's so ignorant. <clears throat> And one point that, you know, I've told people, I told some Jehovah's Witnesses this one time, and they, it did not go over good. I've told a lot of people this, and it doesn't, doesn't go over good when you say it. Who cares, really? I mean, really, does it matter? It does not matter if his hands, you guys behave yourself now, stop fighting. You're taxing your brother. It doesn't matter if his hands were over his head or out to the side or, you know, if he was hung upside down, whatever. If he was, you know, put in a guillotine and had his head, you know, it, it doesn't matter. What matters is that Jesus died for our sins. He was beaten. He was scourged. He was, I mean, that whip that they used to whip him, went, you know, went all the way around his back and had things to where it just ripped the flesh open. And like Jerry said, Jerry Jones just said, you know, that crown of thorns they put on his head would have really hurt. And, you know, I was thinking, well, he would have blood running down his face, you know, with a crown of thorns on his head. But, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses never portray that. What makes me so sick? They'll have they'll have the picture of him tied. He's tied with looks like towels or something. Tied up over his head. And he's hanging there on the cross and he's looking sideways. He's all clean. Not a drop of blood, nor a bruise, nothing. He's hanging there and he's got his head turned and he's talking to the guy on the cross next to him and he's just chatting away and he's you know the wind's kind of blowing his hair and he's clean you know he's, it looks like his beard and everything is nicely trimmed and his hair looks like he just got out of super cuts you know it's like so unrealistic and i mean it doesn't you know you need to be honest about it but in reality in the grand scheme scheme of things is what I'm saying. It does not matter. We could sit there and argue and argue till the cows come home. You know, oh no, his hands were over his head and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, dweeb, dweeb, dweeb. Doesn't matter. That is where it talks in the Bible about, you know, getting caught up in um, debates and doctrines of men and getting in involved in these long drawn out things that you know just do nothing but produce strife it takes away from the real thing it doesn't matter if jesus was executed by firing squad on the cross whatever he died for the sins of mankind he died for our sins every one of us he took our sins on his own body. He did that because he loves us. Isn't that, isn't that really what matters? 
That, that's what matters. We need to quit arguing and speculating about this dumb stuff that just, it, it doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, you know, and it does not affect our salvation. Uh, whether you believe, you know, one way or the other, it does not affect our standing with Christ as a Christian. And we need to just shut up about it and move on. You know, I'm not saying anything bad about Jerry Jones. I'm not saying anything bad about uh, Bridget called uh, and was talking to an elder or talking to somebody at a kingdom hall about, you know, how Jesus looked buff and everything on the cross. And I'm not saying anything about that, but I'm just saying everybody just needs to, you know, just focus on the important things. No, I mean, I don't like how, yeah, you know, and the Catholic Church portrays Jesus as this skinny, effeminate looking, long, stringy red hair. Okay, what Middle Eastern has red hair, red stringy hair, and blue eyes? You know, Jesus, you know, we, we don't need to focus on all that, but we just need to be honest and be real about it. I don't think that it is right to have a picture of a false Jesus hanging in our home. I, I, you know, I'm not saying anybody else, if you want to do it, fine, that's on you. But my personal conscience, I had the picture that, you know, the Catholic Church started the depiction of Christ with the long red hair and blue eyes, and it was a up close, you know, just a facial picture. Um, I don't have it up anymore. I, I don't because I was looking at that and I was just thinking, you know, that is not the real Jesus. And I just, I felt funny in my heart, you know, and I just, you know, if in doubt, cast it out, you know, and I just, you know, I, I put the picture away. I, you know, because Jesus, you know, in all reality, he probably, he probably had a long stringy beard like Bin Laden. I know people don't want to hear that, but I mean, that's probably, or, or Saddam Hussein, he probably had features like them. You know, he was Middle Eastern. Come on, give me a break. Uh, Middle Eastern people do not have red stringy hair and blue eyes, but, um, and he was probably, he was not effeminate. Jesus was not skinny, scrawny, emaciated, and effeminate looking. Jesus was a carpenter, and he walked everywhere, so he was probably very extremely physically fit. But um, again, that doesn't that doesn't matter. I don't think we should have the you know false depiction hanging in our home. But we need to all just focus, just lighten up about you know Jehovah's Witnesses will go on and on and on about how his hands were over his head give it a rest. You know, I mean, sometimes I want to tell people, you know, even God took a day off. <laughs> give give it a rest. I, I heard that once and it's so true. You know, even God took a day off. But anyway, I just wanted to put my two cents out there about that and how, how I feel about that. So, um, I hope I didn't bore everybody to tears and I hope everybody has a very you know, have a very good night and, um, you know, I'll see you all very soon. Have a good one. God bless you all. Bye.